Hey guys, so we've got a pretty cool idea for a video here. I thought it'd be cool to make a ring out of a piece of a supercar. And so why don't you kind of explain it to him? All right. Okay, so what happened is uh, last year, I uh, kind of made a stupid mistake. I rolled into mm. a guy and uh, took out his, or I hit him in a trailer hitch right here and it just creased my hood and it also cracked my light. So it was the same price to fix it or to get a carbon fiber hood. So I got a new carbon fiber hood and we've got the old hood that we're gonna give Patrick and uh, he's gonna make some rings for everyone and uh, we'll have those available for you in a little while. Yeah. Yo, yo! Welcome. Hey, Pat. thank you, thank you. Hey. It's good to be, it's good to be here. We have, see a, you, man. we have an awesome yeah. present for you. Check this out. Mm -hmm. Fresh off the Audi R8. <laughs> yes, well, it, yes it is. After our video, we uh, crashed it. We had to bring one over, you know. <laughs> we got a nice band-aid on there. <laughs> yep. What's up, Alex? What's up, Patrick? Doing a little, uh, here, I'll zoom in on your lens, you zoom in on mine. Alright, I got you. You guys are wow. lens zooming right now? Looking look hot. Look at that. <laughs> hot stuff. Touch yeah. your tips. Oh, it's wow. so heavy. This oh, I bet that thing is this so This aluminum is so terrible. heavy. Wow, Brett, you're so strong. That's at wow. least 500 pounds. Look at those big arms. Well, it's like one nice shoulders like to go with it. <laughs> Life. Oh, where did you get a band-aid that big and that cute? <laughs> All right, so we've got the hood here. Um, I've been just kind of brainstorming how I'm, I want to do things. And I'm thinking I'll just kind of sketch it out here right on the hood for you. I want to do a design similar to what I'm sketching out here. So this will be carbon fiber right here. Carbon fiber here. And then right here, this will be the R8 pieces. Or I should say piece. And so my strategy, and for the inside, I might add a glow liner or something fun. That just might not be realistic to do. So we'll see once we get there. I might just make that, I might just make the inside carbon fiber as well. I'm thinking I will use my angle grinder and I'm going to cut out a piece of the hood. So I can even do it right here, but I'm going to select one of the thicker spots. Um, but let's go ahead and get started.
Okay, so I've got the three pieces cut out. I decided I wanted to keep it really simple for this ring design, so we're just going with pure carbon fiber as well as the R8 hood piece. So here's the three pieces. This is going to be one half of the ring, and then this is going to be the other half plus the core of the inside, I'll call it. So really quickly, I'll just draw up one more sketch. This is just what I have in mind right now. So this is the shape that I will make this big core piece. And the inside will be hollowed out here. And then, if you can see this here, I'll take this and slide it on here. So I'm going to have the R8 section here, and then this second carbon fiber piece here. So it should be pretty simple, it should look really nice. We're just going to have an off-centered strip of the R8 here. So the next step will be to put this on the lathe and then cut it away and so we can cut this notch into it right here that you see. And that way we can slide these two pieces over it. We'll glue them all together, cut this down to size. We'll also shave down some of this because it's a little thicker than I think I'll want it. And then we'll go from there. So let's go ahead and get started. So we just got the ring sized. I've just got it in the lathe jaws here and I used a cutter, a lathe cutter, to trim it down originally. You saw me using this. And then I stopped before I got all the way to the final size I wanted because this can leave a really rough edge and kind of do some tearing out on the carbon fiber. And so I switched to the Dremel and this is a lot more gentle so it doesn't do any of the tear out that I was talking about. 
And so now we've got it to size, we just need to polish it up. So for the ring, I decided I wanted to do a brushed look. So I'm not going to be polishing it necessarily, I'm just going to be using the sandpaper. So I'm gonna be using a bunch of different grits. I'm gonna start with 220. That's what I've got right here. And then you can see I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight steps here. So we're going all the way from 220 up to 1500. So that'll give us a really smooth finish, but not necessarily a super shiny polished one. And I think that'll make this look almost more like a higher quality product. I want it to have more of a satin finish than a polished kind of plasticky look to it. So I'll just take the sandpaper strip and then I'm just gonna put my finger in here and I'm gonna be having my lathe turning really slowly. I always speed up the footage. I always get comments of people saying, I'm being super dangerous, gonna get my finger ripped off. But I'm going about the speed and I've got my finger on the power button. So not really much danger there. Um, if you're doing this yourself, I highly recommend it. Do not turn it up to, for example, like that. It just looks like that in the fast forward version that I show you guys. And once I'm done with the inside, I'm going to pop it back on to the expanding ring mandrel that we started with. I'm going to coat it in electric tape to protect the inside because we just barely sanded it all. We don't want to scratch it. And then with that, it'll be finished. Hey everyone, I just wanna say thanks for watching this video. I know this is a different style of video compared to what I normally do, and I hope you guys enjoyed the change. Uh, I wanted to give kind of a backstory to what was going on, and then just make a really cool ring that had a cool story to it. So I hope you enjoyed it. And also, I've got a special announcement. I just started a second channel. That's just gonna kind of be whatever I'm in the mood to post. My first video is going to be a vlog of the day we spent with Let It Ride and it's just going to show a bunch of the footage we had with all the cars and having fun out there. So that's kind of the behind the so that's kind of the behind the scenes video of the making of this ring. And you guys also definitely need to check out the video posted by Let It Ride. And just so you guys know, on my second channel, just to get things kickstarted, I'm going to be giving away three $20 Amazon gift cards to commenters on there. So all you need to do is just go over to my channel, subscribe as well as leave a comment, and I will be picking three winners every single upload that I do. And I'll do that for a little bit. And I, that's just to get the channel kickstarted and get you guys interested over there. So go over there, let me know what your thoughts are. I will reply to three people saying that they are a winner, and then I will get in touch with them and deliver the gift cards to them. So if you're looking for a giveaway that you've got a pretty good chance of winning, I just started the channel, so it literally has zero subscribers, zero viewers. So there shouldn't be too much activity going on over there. Go ahead and check out the channel, leave a comment on the video, and you will be entered. Also, do be sure to check out the video posted by Let It Ride. That shows the races we did between all the vehicles, and that was just... And my friend Alex, you'll see him in the video. He's a really good video producer. You'll see some really cool drone shots as well as some amazing cinematic editing that Alex was able to do. So be sure to check that video out as well. You can also leave a comment on their video letting them know I sent you, and that'll just be to let them know where you guys are all coming from. So thank you all so much for watching. Let me know if you're interested in these Audi rings. We might do a super limited release of them or something like that because these are pretty tedious and weird to make and we also wanna make them special. So let me know what you think down in the comments and I will see you in the next video.